Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenra, and today we are playing Crusader Kings to the Sons of Abraham as King Zakai of Israel. That's right, we have our own kingdom. We got our independence from the Tulanids, and we swore fealty to the Byzantines, who are an empire, and then we hit the Create the Kingdom button, and we're no longer their vassal. I don't know, that seems a little broken to me, but okay. Seslavis. Anywho, um, we can we can currently go to war with our old liege for whatever we want. We can go for a duchy, we can go for another duchy, we can go for another duchy, go for another duchy, another duchy. Oh, man, the duchies, they're just everywhere. I wish there was like oppress all holy wars. That'd be awesome. But yeah, right now he's pretty weak. He's sitting on uh, 3,200 guys out of 17. And uh, not only that, but all of his other vassals, the guys who are revolting, uh, we can declare war on the revolting guys too, right? We can go for holy war for Baghdad. Uh, we can go for holy war for these guys. Oh, no, we can't. We don't border them. You have to border them first. So, yeah, I do need to come over here and get Damietta so we can border these guys. But, yeah, it gives us tons of options. And uh, while they're fractured like this, we can go to war with all those individual uh, vassals. At least that's the idea like that. Holy War for Syria, just go stand on his face and be done with it, right? Stuff like that. But uh, let's wait a little bit until our units have replenished. Uh, we're going to keep some money in our pocket so that we can get some, um, what are they called, mercenaries. And we're going to let some of this upsetness go away. Put the speed up to four. Ooh. Zakai <laughs> is now known as the Gentle. Okay. We have a tournament. Good. I wonder who's going to win our tournament. Who knows? Oh, now that we're independent, uh, we should be able to do feasts and stuff. Yeah, we can do feasts now. Cool. Hold a feast. All right. The first feast of Israel. Okay, we have a winner. He's content, but he's zealous. All right, cool. He deserves it. Uh, yeah, spend lavishly. Why not? Oh, someone died. Most unfortunate. Oh, a couple people didn't come to the feast. That's okay. Second place goes to this guy. He's wroth and shy. <laughs> okay. And third place to this guy. Alright, he's diligent. And club-footed. Oh well. At least you got third place in a tournament. Doesn't that make you feel better, Mr. Clubfoot? So how goes these wars then? Uh, okay. The Sultan is still winning, and the Sultan is still... The Sultan is still winning all of these wars. So we should come in here and beat him up. I don't want him to uh, hang around too long. Tournament is over, and everyone's opinion goes up by 10. Yay! Excellent. And the feast. Alright, go feast. People got drunk. Oh, someone needs tutoring. My son. <gasps> My son needs tutoring. Who wants to tutor my son? You will tutor my son. There you go. Have fun. Ooh, some of the guests were invited with an ulterior motive. I want their titles. I had trouble finding one of them. Oh my goodness. You want their titles. I don't need titles. Oh my god, we can have ten counties right now. Uh, well, we'll discuss it. The Sheikh of Al Najaf. Oh, he's Sunni. Interesting. Al Najaf. Al Najaf. Oh, that's not my vassal, is it? He's a vassal of the Tulanids. Uh, I could ransom him for 70 bucks. Sure, give me some 70 bucks. I like 70 bucks. Cool. Okay, well, while he still has all these wars going, we should declare. No, he has 8,000 guys right there. Oof. Oh, Passover. Yeah, let's do Passover. One person didn't arrive, didn't come. Oh, well, everyone else came, right? Yeah, look at all those people coming to Passover. God, it's going to give us tons of prestige and piety and everything. Excellent. 
Okay. So you currently have 12,700 guys. We cannot get that many unless we get mercs. Hmm. But this still is a good time to strike. Yeah. I think we'll go for Damietta. Yeah, it's a nice duchy. City finished construction in Acre. Sounds good. Let's give that away. Excellent. I'm not going to waste my money on a university just yet. Uh, we'll wait because we might need that money. We have to wait 10 years before we can actually get elective monarchy. That blows. Is anyone upset that we have all these duchy titles? Too many duchies minus 30. Yeah, they are upset. But it's actually not that big of a penalty. I'm surprised. Hmm. Yeah, the biggest, the most upset person we have is only negative 26. Being kind and just and gregarious and a genius makes people like us. Interesting. Huh. So how's the upsetness going, vassals? Minus four. Not bad. And some free technology. Cool. Very cool. Okay, we're almost at our max on units. And he's still fighting these wars. He's winning one of them, but he's losing the other one. And he's down to 7,000 guys. Alright, now's a good time. Let's declare our war for Damietta. I don't know who's going to come help him, but hopefully not many. Okay, group up. Uh, let's pick a good guy for the lead. There we go. And let's go smash what we can find. Let's go siege a little bit, actually. split in half. Yeah. And you don't need leaders. There we go. There we go. That way we won't take the penalties for, um, siege penalties for having leaders. He's got low morale right now, so that's good. Nice. Oh yeah, we are cleaning house. I like it. A noble has distinguished himself in battle. A soldier named Samir appears. Okay. A soldier named Samir. Is he any good? Samir. 11. He's actually better at spying. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Split in half again. Get rid of the leader and siege. 
good. My wife died. Oh, come on. Damn it. Alright. Well, let's find someone. Well, we don't really we don't really need good stewardship right now. We have a ton of land. Well, we have room for a ton of land, I mean. We could even hold the entire uh could hold another duchy, probably. Maybe. I don't know. There's no one who's any good. These people all suck. Find someone else, then. Search all for unmarried women. My 56-year-old aunt is the best. Ooh, 16-year-old girl. She's West African. Hmm. She's a strong girl, but she's old. She's a quick 60-year-old. I wish you could put an upper age limit. Or an age range of any kind. It would be very nice. Fifty-three year old genius, that's a little old. Twenty seven year old attractive girl. Eh, let's see about that West African. No, why? Can't marry an infidel. Damn it. Can I invite her to court? No. False religion based reluctance. Well never mind then. So I have to search for my religion. Give me a nice wife. There's a quick girl. She's 54. Whoa. There are really no one... There's no one good to choose from. There really isn't. Hmm. Yeah, she'll do. Not super keen on it, but whatever. Okay. And siege away. Money or prestige? We'll take the money. Oh, we're ill. Oh, please don't die. Our kid is terrible. Please don't die. We have to live ten years so that we can get um, elective succession going. Why are you so upset? Ambitious. Oh, will you stop being ambitious? <laughs> Annoying people. I hate it when counts and dukes are ambitious. They're just troublesome. Uh, improve martial ability. Sure, why not? Then we could go for the Duchy of Alexandria next. That'd be nice. Some courtier died. Potato woman will live on. The potato women, they never die. And I think Twitch chat has broken. I haven't seen anything new in about 12 minutes. <laughs> Yay, broken Twitch. The Jihad for Syria. Ooh. Jihad. And you're still Sunni. Okay, well, there's the Shia. Yeah, so the Shia did get the kingdom of Kiva. So they're going to start spreading out. Why are they doing a jihad for Syria? I don't get it. I don't get it. That's kind of far away. You think he would do a jihad for, you know, Tajikistan or whatever it's called, Tajikistan, Tajikistan, whatever it is. You think he would do that? Or Persia, because those are the two kingdoms that border him. But no, he's going for a kingdom way over here for some damn reason. I don't know. Whatever. Who knows? Ooh, my kinsman is a tough soldier. Good for you. Sure, marry this girl. Okay, he's actually coming to attack us. 
So, let's slow down time a bit. It's fine. Yeah. Oh, he had mercenaries and they just, he just lost them. Did you see that? They were marching up north and then they just disappeared. I think he ran out of money. No, he has tons of money. I don't know. That was weird. Okay, speed back up. <laughs> that was very weird. What are these ships doing? It looks like he keeps trying to drop troops off, and then he never does. Someone died. That's cute. And we're not ill anymore, thank goodness. Hey, we improved our marshal. I guess just because we weren't ill anymore. Yeah, being ill dropped our marshal down by one. That gave us the ability to take an ambition to not be so shitty anymore. And, uh... You managed to get the religious leader to like us. Well, what about the frickin' Basilius? Get him to like us, damn it. Oh, looks like he got mercs again. Yep. Oh, we're getting attacked. Shoot. We're actually winning that battle. Courtier died. Oh well. Ooh, she's actually. You know, I'll keep her available for someone else. Yeah, marry her. She's useless. Getting attacked again. And now he changed his mind. Gotta love ping pong. <gasps> Our wife is preggers. Okay, come on, give me some geniuses or something. Sieging up all the provinces that I just don't care about. The war goal is here, damn it. Okay, you got the Basilius to like us. Good. Did he win one of his wars? No. He managed to get a whole bunch more troops somehow. He's got 7,900 over here all of a sudden. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, 
Okay, we just had a kinsman, Ramadan. All right. Yeah, look at this. He's got 7,900 here. That's 8,000 guys, 5,000 guys, and 5,000 guys. He has 18,000 guys just out of nowhere. What happened? I don't even know. You know what? I think we should go beat him up a little bit. Let's go beat him up a bit. We have a genius son. <gasps> genius son. Yes. All right. Let me slow down time again. Kill him. Kill him again. It is only right. Ah, oh, he's bringing in the big gun. Alright, well, now it's time for me to get some mercs. Need some tutoring. All right. Who wants to tutor my little girl? There you go. You got it. Hmm. There's really not that many mercs available. Damn. I'll uh, take these guys too. Slaughtered that army. Let's kill these guys as well. Because they have low morale. Oh, never mind. We'll just group up. Looks like he wants to play. All right, we'll have a defensive bonus, or maybe he'll have a river crossing. I don't know. Works for me. Okay. Yep, river crossing. Good. And our morale is better than his. We have backup on the way, and he's retreating. Good. Good job, guys. Yeah, you can have as many duels as you want. I don't care. Caught some fool. Okay. Yeah, we should win this war just from battles. Eighty five per cent. No peace. All right. He is still winning his other war, but just barely. 14%. He isn't burning through his money, though. I thought he'd be spending very heavily on mercs, but it looks like he hasn't. Oh well, let's go keep beating up his armies. 
actually, we do need to end the episode here. So thank you guys for joining me today. I have been Shen. You have been you. Come back next time where we will uh, peace out the Tulanids and we'll take Damietta. And then we'll see if we can get some more quickly here uh, while there's still some stuff going on. Some unrest in his kingdom. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye from Israel. <laughs>